now in the United States. People should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it, because people are listening really no. closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a, a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. And often, there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask, and they keep touching their face. And can you get some schmutz sort of staying uh, uh, inside uh, uh, there? Of course, and... of course. You know, the, it, the, 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 the side effects were not super severe. That is, it didn't cause permanent health problems for uh, the things there. They, you know, Moderna did have to go with a fairly high dose. And so, uh, you know, to get the antibodies, some of the other vaccines uh, are going able to go with lower doses to get uh, responses that are, are pretty high, including the, the J&J and the Pfizer. And so there's a lot of characteristics of these vaccines. Um, it's great that we have multiple of them uh, that I are going out there. And, Yes, I you, think you know the data the better than I do, but the bill, bill the, the data showed that everybody with a high dose had a, a side effect. Yeah, but some of that is is not dramatic, where you know it's just you know super painful. But yes, there we need to make sure there's not severe side effects. The FDA, uh, I I I think will do a good job of that, uh, despite the pressure. It is fair to say things won't go back to truly normal until we have a vaccine that we've gotten out to basically the entire world.